It's already unbelievable that you can generate an entire UI design from a single text prompt with Wizard, but things get even wilder when you add in Adobe Firefly's Gen AI. So here I am inside of Wizard, and I'm going to use their auto designer to generate me an app. My prompt is going to be a mobile app for art therapy. Users should be able to input a text prompt about how they're feeling, and the app should generate artwork and music to help them counteract any negative emotions. There should also be an account so they can save their favorites. I also want to describe the style. So I want this to be soft, light design. I want to use purple as my main color and use some of these keywords to describe it. I'm going to click generate my project. And after a few seconds, auto designer magically lays out all of these screens for us. Let's take a closer look at what it's created. We've got a login, a home screen. There's a meditation overview, onboarding, user profile. So we have some good design patterns here to start us off. Now you might notice some UI or UX inconsistencies, but you can easily fix those and clean things up here in wizard all of the editing is canvas based so you can just click on any element and then it will bring up the design options i'm going to change the name maybe to art therapy studio i'll change the text here as well i'm going to shuffle around these form fields so that they make sense i think email is duplicated twice here i want to move this flow around as well I'm going to shift some of these elements and then once i have everything the way i like it i'll rename these screens and it's looking pretty good except for the images the images are a bit random some of them are kind of mismatched and lackluster so this is where another really cool tool comes in this is adobe firefly and it lets you use generative ai and a simple text prompt to create really high quality images all we need to do is click in here describe the image we want to create so i want something peaceful with flowers, cool spring weather, very meditative and relaxing. Click generate. And there are images. I love these. Such a nice digital illustrated scene, beautiful color palette, just perfect for our art therapy app. And you can click on them and browse through the variations here. And I'm going to download these. And now we can generate some more images or variations and refine them using the options on the right. So if I have a style in mind, I can use a reference image so I can upload something or I can click on this reference image gallery and then select something similar that I like the style of. So this looks really cool, this kind of digital cloud. Then I can apply effects. I like this bokeh effect. And then you can even tweak things like color and tone and the lighting and the composition. And then I'm going to click generate again and look at that, a whole new set of images in a completely different style. Let's jump back into wizard and get these gorgeous images in there. So I can click on any image, grab that Adobe download, upload it here. And look at that. This already looks so much better. And that's not all that we can do. There are some other awesome AI features inside of wizard that we can use. Let's say I wanted to add an additional screen. That's going to be a gallery of images. I can click on auto designer at the bottom. And that's going to open up some more AI options here. So I can generate another screen from a prompt or I can use a screenshot. So this is pretty fun. I'm going to go over to Mobbin, which is one of my favorite sites to get design inspiration. And I'm going to look for a gallery screen. So I'm just going to type in gallery. It's going to show me a bunch of different examples. I'm going to click on this example from Meta. And then I just need to download this image. Back in Wizard, I'm going to upload this screenshot. And then it's going to make me a screen based on that screenshot that I uploaded. So you might notice a few little things are off. The colors don't really match the other screens that were generated, but in wizard, that's an easy fix. We're going to go back down to auto designer and click generate theme. Then using a prompt, I'm going to ask it to regenerate these for me in the style of the other screens. If we like that, we apply the theme and then it updates all of the screens to match perfectly. There are more hidden gems in this magic tool in the sidebar. So click on that and explore all of the other things that you can do with Wizards AI. You can flip these over into wireframe mode and edit them and then have them flip back into high fidelity designs. The AI text assistant is really great. Just click on any text element and then click suggest and then it will generate some text for you. You can click replace and it will drop that right in. So you can just keep on refining these using AI. This is a pretty great looking app. And all we had to do was use two text prompts, one in wizard to generate the designs and the other in Adobe Firefly for these amazing images. You can grab links to both of these awesome AI design tools in the description below and an exclusive discount for wizard pro plan. Thank you as always for liking and subscribing. It's what helps make this channel possible. If you want to watch more videos I've done all about wizard, watch this next.